Hi my plums, welcome back to a brand new video on the channel. My name is Plumby and today I'm going to bring you guys the season one final or finale of the Rose Hill Legacy. I am really, really excited to bring you guys the finale since this LP has been going on for 21 parts and I feel like I'm ready to hop in to season two with Gen generation two, gener second generation. <laughs> Since this still is, I guess, a legacy, hence the name. So if you're new here, hi, hello, welcome. My name is Lorena. I do mainly Sims 4 content like Let's Plays and Creator Sims. So if any of that interests you, please go ahead and subscribe. We would love to have you join the Plum family. Today's Plum of the Day shout out goes to Bexy's Playground. I'm really, really happy that you are enjoyed or enjoy, enjoyed, enjoyed, <laughs> enjoying the Not So Berry Challenge. I'm so happy, like I said, I'm so happy you're enjoying it. And I really do appreciate this comment it really made my day and as I said thank you very much it's a very sweet comment and I really do appreciate it and I hope you do enjoy the Rose Hill legacy but without further ado let's just hop right on into it so Theo is going to be returning home from work in about a couple of hours and she actually left some stuff back in Brindleton Bay back in her old house so tomorrow morning she's probably going to be taking another little bit of a visit uh, she also is planning on visiting Joseph Nathaniel's older brother who lives there too and she's also going to be visiting Lily too since she kind of left and she didn't really say goodbye to Lily so she's probably as I said going go, need, needing to go back pick up some of the luggage that she left behind and she's probably going to also go see Joseph and Lily while she's there too so that's probably what's going to be happening tomorrow but uh for now everyone's probably just going to head to bed and I'll be seeing you guys when Violetta returns home from work and probably actually no probably when I'll be seeing you guys in the morning since she'll probably go straight to bed when she returns home from work. Alrighty, so Violetta has just woken up and I'm just getting her to take care of Melody really, really quickly, which is real, real cute. So she's just gonna take care of Melody for a little bit and then probably, she's probably gonna go ahead and head out as early to Brailleton Bay as possible because she kind of just wants to go, I guess, so then she can get back as quick as possible. And I feel like she is gonna bring the boys with her today too because she kind of is thinking, you know what, you know, Lily probably wants to come see them, you know, Joseph may want to come see them. So she's probably thinking, you know, I'm gonna bring the boys with me. And yeah, just so as well they'll just take them you know out on a little bit of a day trip so there we go for now she's just taking care of mel for a bit and then i'm gonna go ahead and get just grab herself some breakfast for now everyone is still sleeping but i may get i guess maybe make herself some fruit salad but i may actually get evelyn up to take care of the boys so where are they but Vio right now is actually feeling really really happy she's feeling really inspired of course she is still a bit sad of nathaniel's death but i think things are definitely you know looking up for her as I said in the last part she's slowly but surely been getting happier because you know now she's in a relationship with blue and she feels like everything's really perfect so slowly but surely for violetta she is getting a lot more happier and things are looking up for her so she's just feeling extremely happy right now and yeah which is actually really nice to see i'm really happy to see her kind of smiling because as we know vio she's never really had it easy like her whole life she's never really had it easy and i feel like it's kind of nice to see her finally having a big old smile on her face all right so vio has actually just finished so i'm gonna get to go ahead and clean that up and i think the boys are all ready to go out too i know it's 8 a.m so it's still like pretty early but i feel like evelyn although she'll be left with melody i feel like she'll definitely appreciate having i guess some alone time if you will like, you know just having some time to herself since she's kind of just been bombarded with like you know three kids to take care of so i'm gonna go ahead and get violetta to start traveling so as i said she's gonna go back to pronouncement bay pick up some of her i guess luggage that she left behind looks like someone has actually moved into her house already wow <laughs> but anyway we'll just go ahead and, like hopefully that person hasn't like stolen her stuff because that would be very annoying i don't think they would have but let's just hope that like they haven't already taken her stuff and they don't mind violetta coming in and kind of picking up some of the stuff she left behind Alrighty, so we have arrived back at the, I guess, the starter cottage. And oh, it's hot today in Brindleton Bay, which is interesting. <laughs> so everyone's in the hot weather wear. But can we knock on the door, please? Oh, hold on. I think the front door's over here. We go knock on door. Oh, I think this house is so lovely. Like, I really did, like, enjoy VO living here. Unfortunately, it just, like, wasn't big enough. And oh, look, here is the owner. Maybe we can go ahead and get, say, get Violetta Mio. Mio, am I saying that right? <laughs> just go ahead and say hello and, like, kind of explain to her what she's doing at her house. But this house is really cute. But I feel like it would be better if 
Leo just had, you know, one kid, but having like three kids and stuff. Oh, Adrian, that's so sweet. I heard you and Blue Side dating. Congratulations on landing a new boyfriend. That is so cute. As we know, Adrian kind of has a little bit of a crush on Vio. <laughs> so <laughs> it's kind of interesting that you called saying that. But oh, this lady's feeling a little bit sad. Oh, what's the first impression? Oh, interesting sim. Interest as interesting. I don't think she's going to be talking to this person again, so I don't care too much. But oh, this lady seems kind of sad. Maybe Vio's just going to say hello. Sorry to bother you, but I left some of my items behind here. I recently was just renting this place with me and my kids. So I actually left some stuff behind. So I really do apologize. And so it's like, of course, you know, just go get what you need. Go get what you need. I completely understand. I only bought this place yesterday. And yeah, so she's like, okay, thank you so much. Uh, sorry, I don't, if I'm bothering you, I do apologize. <laughs> but let's go ahead and just get Vio to oh, go inside. Can we go inside? Can we go inside? There we go. Oh, the boys, <laughs> the boys have already, <laughs> no. <gasps> What are you doing? I'm going to go. This isn't our house anymore. This isn't our house anymore. Alrighty. So I think I'm just going to say that Vio has quickly grabbed everything she needs. So now we can go ahead and leave. And as I said, she's going to go ahead and visit Lily just while she's here and Joseph because I feel like she kind of just left and she's kind of thinking, you know, it was kind of rude of me to just leave and not <laughs> leave Lily again. Vio, this is a bit of a trend, if you will. You've got going a habit, just leaving people behind. <laughs> but I think she's probably like, okay, I'm going to go ahead and say my farewells to Lily, you know, just go ahead and, like, explain everything, because I feel like her and Lily, they haven't really been able to have a proper talk for some time, so I feel like there is some stuff, and Vio's kind of thinking with Lily, you know, there's some stuff I want to talk to Lily about, and I don't know, I just, I wanted, I think she just wants confirmation, confirmation, oh, I've got it's called, you guys get my joke, don't you, hopefully, <laughs> Vio's like, hi Lily, you know, how are you, how are you doing? And, you know, as you know, I just moved into Sam Shuno. Maybe they can actually go ahead and sit on a bench together. But yeah, they're just kind of saying hi. Maybe Lily's like, hey, we can go, maybe go ahead and sit on a bench together. But there we go. So I feel like Vio is going to just go ahead and kind of say, maybe uh, ask about day. Just like, hey, how you, how you been doing and stuff? You know, what's been up with you? As you know, I just left. Um, of course, I just left, I guess, Brindleton Bay again, moved back to the city, and I think Lily is like, you know, nothing's really changed with me. My career as a writer has been actually doing quite well, and yeah, so Lily actually looks pretty sad, you guys. Um, <laughs> she doesn't look too happy, you know, and I think, I think Lily's just gonna tell Vio, like, Vio, when you returned, I was so happy for us to be friends, but when you left, I'm sorry to bring this up again, but when you left all those years ago, it, I think, I think you shouldn't have tried to, I guess, befriend me again, and like I said, you're a great person, and I love being friends with you, but I think it's best if we just stop talking to, to each other full stop. Like, you change. We're different people now. And it was great talking to you. And trust me, I love being your friend. And I, I love taking care of the boys and helping you out and being in your life again. But I just don't think this is working, you know. And, you know, now you're back to Sam Ice, you know. It's just going to be back to us not talking at all again. And if you ever do return to Brindleton Bay for whatever reason, I just, I don't think that I, I want to, I don't really want to know you anymore. And I hope you don't mind. I don't mean that in a bad way. Like, no hard feelings and I think Vio's just gonna say, you know what, Lily, I completely understand. I think, you know, me running away was never good. I know, I, I know, even though you said it's fine, I know I shouldn't have left all those years ago, and I'm, I'm sorry once again. I'm sorry that this, you know, never worked out. I'm sorry that I, I know I've said this before, but I'm sorry that I left you, and I went, ran away to the city. I shouldn't have done that, and it was selfish of me, and I know I've already said sorry, but I just want to let you know that I'm sorry that happened and I'm just I'm really sorry about everything and I think Lily's like you know what it, it's fine it's fine Vio like I mean it like to be honest it still hurt you leaving it it still hurts today if I'm being honest but you did it for you and I understand and now look you you know you haven't got the best life I'm not gonna lie but you're happy with Blue and I understand that and I'm really happy for you and I think Fio's like once again I'm sorry this never worked out I'm sorry that you know that this could have been great we could have had the best friendship ever we could have the best relationship ever we could have been a couple and I'm sorry that that never worked out but just I think Leo's like, listen, Vio, some things just don't work out. Some things just aren't meant to be. And we were never meant to be as lovers or as friends. This was never meant to be anything. And that's just, that's just it. And thanks for come seeing me before you leave again. Thank you for kind of letting me know how you feel. And I think Vio's like, yeah. I think it's good that we've kind of got this um, confirmation. I think that's the right word. I do apologize if it isn't. <laughs> you know, I'm glad that... Uh, closure! 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 <laughs> 
I know the word. I figured it out. Closure. Mm -hmm. Not confirmation. Christ. Oh, God. <laughs> Closure. That's what I was looking for. Okay. Um. Anyway, <laughs> I think Leah's like, I'm so glad we've gotten this closure now. I think it's good for the both of us to kind of just forget and move on. You know, you need to forget and I need to move on. And I think that's what needs to be happening here. And yeah. So, of course, a little bit of a bittersweet time. Like, this isn't necessarily like heart wrenching or anything, but it's kind of bittersweet. Like, it's kind of sweet. I said, it's kind of like a bittersweet kind of feeling. I think Lily's also going to say, you know, before you go see Joseph, I want to just quickly tell you something about your mother. I think you deserve to know this. And I wasn't telling you because I saw how happy you were with your mother coming back into your life. But um, when Eloise passed, and when you ran away, when you ran away a couple of weeks after Eloise passed away, your mother, she kind of snapped. She, it was, it was like, she, she kind of went a bit insane. Like it was in the papers, everyone in the town kind of knew. And, and then Vio's like, what are you going on about? My mother's like completely normal. Why does everyone keep telling me this? My dad, Arnold, before he died, he told me this too. Like, what are you going on about Lily? And I think Lily's like, listen, Vio, I don't know anything about you or your mother. So it's not my place, but I just want to let you know that that when Eloise passed, she really did snap. And I'm just wanting you to be careful, okay? And once again, Vio this time has taken in what Lily has said a little bit more than she did before. Because when Arnold said it, she's kind of just like, mm, yeah, what's all I'm going on about? But now Lily, someone she trusts, has kind of told her about that. Vio is kind of thinking like, um, okay, maybe I should take this into account. And I think she's like, you know what, Lily, I will take this into account. Into account, sorry, into account. I can't speak. I'll take this into account. And yeah, I'm just gonna get these guys to have a hug. This was fun, but I probably have to get my way home now. It's 4 p.m. <laughs> I need to go see Joseph too, you know, Nathaniel's brother. It was great knowing you, Violetta. You really, you know, you're awesome. You are this such big figure in my life, especially in teenage years. And I'm really glad that I met you and I love you so much. And there we go, have a little hug and then leave. I'm not crying. <laughs> I swear I'm not crying. I'm fine. I'm mentally stable. I'm not gonna cry over Sims. And I wrote this too. So I'm not gonna cry over something I wrote and over Sims, okay? I have tears in my I'm not even I'm not even kidding. This is one I wish I had face camp. <laughs> We're gonna go ahead and see Joseph now. We're gonna go ahead and see Joseph now. <laughs> I'm crying. I'm not crying. I am not crying. I, I've cried. I've cried over Sims before. So if I end up crying, you guys, <laughs> I have very big emotional attachments to my Sims. Anywho, not crying. Not gonna cry. Not gonna cry. It's Sims. It is Sims. Pixels. Anywho, uh, we're gonna go see Joseph now, and yeah, just kind of talk to him. So she hasn't really talked to Joseph for some time as well. I think since the funeral, or maybe after the funeral, I think it's good to just go see how Joseph's doing with, like, you know, Nathaniel and stuff. And yeah. Alrighty, we have arrived here. I'm gonna, I feel kind of bad for the boys. I kind of feel like viewers probably thinking, you know, I probably should have left him, <laughs> left him behind for Evelyn to take care of now, because I just feel really, really bad. But as I said, I'm really glad we got... I forgot the word again. Closure. <laughs> I'm really glad we got closure with Lily since I felt like lots of things were like left unsaid there and oh she's feeling kind of sad now I think she's gonna oh Joseph looking sad oh he seems to be looking kind of sad I'm gonna go and get her to maybe just give him a hug like hey Joseph you know what's up haven't seen you for some time haven't seen you for some time oh lord Joseph still seems to be really heartbroken he's still very sad and I think she's like hey Joseph like how you doing? We haven't really spoken for some time. She's like, how you doing? You know, with Nathaniel and stuff. Um, You know, how are you holding up? And I think just like not good, to be honest. Vio, I don't think I'll ever recover from this, like ever. Nathaniel, he was my little brother. And even though he was drama filled and drama filled, even though he was a drama queen, <laughs> Nathaniel was a bit of a drama queen. And even though he was a pain in the butt, I still loved him. And I think Vio's like, I'm so sorry for your loss. I of course i know exactly how you feel i lost my older sister when i was younger in a tragic tragic way like you did and and i think you know um joseph's like hey like i, I honestly i never thought you know <laughs> this would happen you know i mean what what are you going to expect and never going to stop grieving but it's kind of good to know someone who's going through the same same pain as me and i'm really glad i met you Vio, and i'm sorry i'm like i wish kind of we got to knew each other a little bit better because you're a really cool person and stuff and i think Vio's like you know yeah once i think they don't really have much chemistry you guys I think it's more of just a like, you know, I don't think they ever would have been friends necessarily ever, you guys, to be honest. That's why, that's why I kind of never really worked in their relationship, her, I guess, her and Joseph, was because I don't think they would have ever been, like, friends or anything. I think it's just Nathaniel's death. It kind of, I guess, set a bad feeling between them, and I think it could have brought them closer, but I think it kind of did the opposite. Like, it kind of, instead of bringing them closer, kind of didn't separate them or anything, but it's just, it's like, I don't think they were ever meant to be friends, so I feel like she just kind of wanted to check in on him before she goes back 
back to the city. So, uh, yeah, I think that's what she's going to do. I'm pretty sure she's probably going to leave now, you know. Joseph, he seems to still want some time to himself, to be honest, which I completely understand. Really do feel bad for old Joseph. Like, I really do feel bad for him, but I think she's going to go ahead and say, you know, anyways, I better be heading off now. You know, the kids are hungry. I better be going now, but I wish you luck, Joseph. I wish you luck in your life. And he's like, I wish you luck too, Violetta. To be honest, you and the boys, you have a bright, bright future ahead of you living in the city and stuff. And I wish you all the luck. And she's like, you know, you too, Joseph. I hope you have a good life. I really hope you have a good life and yeah that's another another i guess closure another end that has been tied i guess with relationships for vo and there we go all right not not much to be said that like i said they don't have much chemistry or much history together so i feel like there's not really much to <laughs> kind of go off with because with lily they have history together they have lots of chemistry together it's you know but with these guys there's not really much just go ahead and give them a little bit of a hug like he's like okay like i said wish you luck you know maybe just have a little bit of a hug now and you know kind of say goodbye and there we go oh how sweet how sweet love that but yeah that's that's probably gonna be the last we're gonna be seeing of joseph you guys probably the last we're gonna be seeing of joseph and lily to be honest i don't think they're gonna be making a return in season two i wanted to ask i wanted to get some closure on those two so we're like we're kind of set for season two but i don't think we're probably ever gonna be seeing joseph or lily again sorry to any joseph or lily fans i really do i'm sorry you guys it's just i don't think they're really meant to come into season two lily she's a figure of violetta's past and i feel like i want her to stay that way whilst joseph he was never really anything <laughs> to feel which i know sounds bad but yeah i just kind of wanted to kind of tie those ends off and yeah once again i know some people are gonna be pretty bummed about lily since i know lily lots of you guys really did love lily i loved her too but as i said she's a figure of the atlantis past and as either one of them said i need to forget and you need to move on Alrighty, you guys. So Violetta has just returned home, and she's feeling in a very good mood. Of course, she's feeling a pretty, a little bit down from Lily, but I think that made her necessarily feel sad. She's kind of just feeling, you know, really like, okay, I've got closure with Lily. I've kind of sort of checked on Joseph. You know, I feel quite complete. And oh, Brooke's inviting her to hang out. Sorry, Brooke, sweetie. <laughs> she's kind of busy right now. I think she just wants to sleep. You know, it's been a very busy day today. But Violetta seems to be just taking the boys into bed, and she's probably gonna be looking for Evelyn. Like, you know, kind of calling out for her mum kind of thinking you know where's Evelyn you know because <laughs> Evelyn probably won't be going for uh, like a, a stroll right now so she's probably thinking you know what I'll go look for Evelyn in a second oh that glitch though <laughs> but right now she just wants to make sure the boys are tucked in to bed and now she's gonna go ahead and look for Evelyn so she's probably actually gonna go ahead and see Melody first so she's going in and she notices that Melody is missing from her crib Vio is like where's Melody gone that is that is really weird you know I didn't know improved babies were here yet i thought they were coming well i thought they were never coming so i think she's gonna go ahead and like kind of look for evelyn so i feel like she's kind of just gonna go ahead and like look around like okay where's my mother you know kind of call out for her mom kind of like evelyn you know where are you melody isn't in her crib improved babies aren't here yet so where is she like and evelyn doesn't seem to be here she's kind of just kind of going around the house you know it's, it's a big pretty big apartment but um evelyn doesn't seem to be in well i don't see evelyn anywhere she doesn't seem to be in the bathroom not in the living room not, not in her okay okay violetta hasn't actually checked the bedroom yet. she's gonna go ahead and actually check the bedroom now so maybe she fell asleep evelyn isn't here but violetta notices that evelyn has a diary here and violetta at this point she's starting to panic a little bit you know she's starting to feel a little bit tense she's kind of thinking like you know what is up like where is my mum where is melody so she's kind of noticing her mum's journal and i feel like she's just gonna go ahead and actually have a little read into her mother's journal kind of just think okay maybe i'll just i'll have a read you know maybe, maybe this is answers you know where is my mother she's starting to panic now she's really starting to panic and she's probably read everything now, if you remember you guys evelyn she has a journal where she writes down everything and violetta has just learned evelyn killed arnold and basically she's like literally in shock she hasn't read any further but she is in complete shock right now because she just found out that her mother killed her father because as you know evelyn she writes down everything in her journal it's her way of i guess i guess like like i said kind of getting off that pressure and she just read about that and violetta she's probably like okay i gotta read more i gotta read more and i feel like this is very hard for Vio. like not only is she in shock by this but she's also reading about how her mother felt when eloise passed away and um, she's basically reading like lots of stuff that evelyn was dealing with and all of this stuff and Vio right now is kind of just thinking like oh my god like uh, i'm like 
I don't know what to say, you know, like, my mother was going through so much, and she's like, you know, my mother killed my father, my mother's gone through so much, all of this stuff is just, like, rushing through her mind, and then it, it kind of hits her, like, what if my mother took Melody, what if she took Melody? Because she's reading, you know, I want to end the Rosal legacy, I want to end the Rosal legacy, I want to start clean, blah, 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 blah. And it's kind of hit the O. Oh my god, I think she may have taken Melody. Like, I just read, like, it all makes sense, like, wanting to end the Rosal legacy, wanting to, I guess, like, start fresh. It, it couldn't make more sense that she took Melody. And VO is kind of just, like, kind of, she looks mad, but she definitely is really tense right now. She just doesn't want to do with herself. And I think instead of like kind of empathizing with her mother and the struggle she's kind of feeling a bit angry like you know how dare she steal my child like she just stole melody she has no idea what her mother is like that's her baby which is actually really traumatizing that's like terribly traumatizing so vio is probably right now in complete shock and the first thing she's thinking is i gotta go to the police i gotta go make a report i gotta go tell the police you know that my my mother you took my child um you know like, you know i think she's just kind of thinking you know, i gotta go to the place like, that's the first thing that's come into her mind right now and i don't think she's gonna like she's just kind of in shock completely in shock so you guys <laughs> i think i'm oh my camera then i think i'm gonna be wrapping up today's part of the sims 4 rose hill legacy right here sorry to end you guys on such a freaking cliffhanger sorry to like literally i really do apologize but this is going to be the end of season one. So, lots to unpack. Uh, first of all, let's just start from the start. Of course, Vio did get closure with Lily. Lily and Vio aren't going to be speaking anymore. You know, they kind of let out their feelings in a very casual way, not like in a really heavily emotional way, more in just like a casual way, like a bittersweet way. So she's gotten closure with Lily now. Lily will not be returning. She's also, of course, kind of checked on Joseph, like in on him and stuff. As we know, he's still really struggling with Nathaniel's death. And Evelyn has just technically stolen. She's stolen melody because and violetta read everything in evelyn's journal so she now knows you know about evelyn killing her father she knows uh, like everything that evelyn went through right up and personal <laughs> she knows she just she knows all, all that evelyn she knows everything she knows how evelyn felt when eloise died now she knows how you know, of course she couldn't have read that all in one go but she she kind of knows a little bit now she probably it's kind of just like she's just you know she's kind of shocked right now i think it hasn't really hit her yet i think right now she's thinking you know she's more like oh my god i gotta go to the police i gotta go you know get the police on my mother but i don't think she's really i I think she's kind of thinking you know it's not going to be that hard like she's kind of really traumatized because you know melody isn't here which is like honest that's her baby that's her that's her literal baby so she's kind of thinking you know oh god but i also think she's also thinking you know this isn't this is a big deal obviously but it can get sorted out pretty soon she's probably thinking you know, i'm gonna go to the police the police are gonna go okay you know she's probably thinking you know they'll find evelyn fast they'll find evelyn quickly i'll get melody back to me evelyn will be thrown in jail for killing my father and for stealing my child so right now she's just thinking you know obviously she's traumatized this is a lot to take in for violetta you know everything was going so well and now like you know her mother lied to her she wished she listened to her father i think it's gonna hit her it's gonna hit her especially hard when she probably realizes that maybe it isn't gonna be as easy for the police to find where evelyn is and i think part one of season two is gonna be a very emotional one for violetta i think that honestly this is kind of like the 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 edge for Vio. Like I'm, I don't think she's gonna like snap in a way like her mother did. But season two isn't gonna be cupcakes and rainbows for Vio. It's gonna be a very emotional time. She's gonna be filled with anger, hatred, uh, stress, obviously, emotions. Like she's gonna be very sad, completely distraught. And yeah, so that's the cliffhanger for season two. <laughs> so season two will probably be coming out in around a week or two i kind of want to take a break from rose hill for a little bit to start a mini series that i'm going to be uh, releasing in a couple of days so yeah and i of course i will be uploading season two in a week or two i just like i said i need to take a break i need to you know plan some things for season two plan the story for season two tell me what you guys think about this what do you think about um evelyn as i said stealing melody run away with melody trying to make it like trying to i guess in her like she literally said starting fresh re technically quote unquote 
restarting the Rose Hall legacy, not really the right word, but you get my drift, right? You know, escaping the Rose Hall legacy, all of that stuff, kind of starting a new legacy with Melody. Tell me what you guys thought about that, like, too. Just tell me all your thoughts. Tell me what you think about Lily and Violetta, the closure she got. Tell me what you think about Joseph. Just tell me <laughs> what you think of today's part in general. I always like to get your guys' input, and I always love to hear, like, what you guys think of what's been going on in these Sims lives. Like, I found it really interesting to see your guys' input on it. And yeah, so please do tell me everything you think. Are you shocked? Are you... I mean, I'm shocked and I planned this. <laughs> I'm shocked and I planned this. So, like, you know, tell, tell me what you guys are thinking. And tell me what your theories are for season two. What are you guys thinking that's going to be happening in season two as well? Tell me all about that. And, uh... Yeah, so I really hope you guys enjoyed season one of the Rose Hall Legacy. It was quite the roller coaster. It started off, you know, like your typical let's play, but then, you know, we started dragging in some more drama elements, and then boom, we're here now, we're here now. <laughs> so uh, yeah, tell me what you guys thought of season one. I personally really enjoyed it. Thank you to everyone who's, of course, watched. There's around, this is like the 23rd, 24th episode, I think, so thank you to everyone who's kind of watched all these parts and supported the let's play. I really do appreciate it. This is such a fun let's play to do, and yeah, and I cannot wait to show you guys the trailer for season two and i cannot wait to see you guys in season two anyway i'm rambling on now i'm just so excited for season two and <laughs> for this finale that i just i have so much to like tell you guys so i do apologize if this outro was long as an outro can be so if you guys did enjoy do not forget to leave a like and subscribe we would love to have you join the plum family and i'll see you all in the next video Bye bye